Hi, this is your lucky sip. Now I am going to give you few more hints, few more tips how to do the best in your exam. Coming up is JE mains exam, JE main exam. Okay, now we generally call JE mains. It is JE main exam. In JE main, particularly I will speak about chemistry. Okay, now in chemistry there will be thirty questions. Of that you have to answer only twenty five. This pattern is known to you everyone. So of this twenty five. 20 questions will be in the section A and 5 questions from section B but in that section B we have 10 questions out of that you need to answer only 5 section B okay and section B all are numericals integer type questions so round off nearest value okay so significant figures round off values these points also you must know then what about the questions remember Out of twenty-five questions, you are going to answer. Fifteen questions will be damn sure easy. Okay, now easy questions only. Believe, believe me, you are going to answer around fifteen questions easy, very easy questions. Easy means the questions you have covered in your board examination purpose are the questions you have answered in many mock tests or the weekend examinations for wherever you are studying. so that means very standard questions will come very standard means i mean repeated questions type and 15 questions five questions you can answer if you are using some logic and even if five questions maybe you feel little difficulty you have one hour time for chemistry and you need to answer only 15 to 20 questions so you can very comfortably answer just believe in yourself don't try to answer all the questions there is no need to answer all the questions you need to answer only 25 in that if you are very comfortable then only you are going to answer otherwise you are not going to answer don't go with um, what do you say uh, i need to answer like 20 questions i have answered only 15 remaining five i'll go in fluke don't go don't go don't go don't go what you need to do is for example in two or three questions you are very much confident about a and b options okay na in that kind of cases only you can go for either a or b okay na uh, this calculated risk you can take but this is not fair okay this is not fair because there is a chance of losing marks but if you are very much confident about only two options only two options either a or b and like that four five questions are there okay in that case if all the four five questions you are going to answer if any one of them are going to correct no loss if two are correct then definitely you are in profit but if all are wrong then that's purely completely your bad luck but what i suggest you is don't go in a fluke way okay na don't give any fluke answers if you are confident then only you answer because you are going to write je main examination two times one in the june one in the month of june second in the month of july it will definitely give you a very good experience for the first time when you are writing so first point you are going to answer only those questions where you are comfortable and confident then more tips we'll discuss in next video bye